welcome to a new season of In Focus. I'm Lou Jolin. My guest this week is Berkeley physics professor Richard Muller. Professor Muller has taught at Berkeley for over 30 years and designed the popular Physics for Future Presidents course. He has also served as a consultant in energy and national security issues to the U.S. government and recently returned from the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. I spoke to Professor Muller about the discussions at Davos and the energy policy of the Obama administration. Professor Muller, welcome to In Focus, and thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure. Okay, so first I want to focus a bit on Davos, and uh, that was the scene of the World Economic Forum, uh, from which you just returned. And uh, my first question regarding Davos is um, about Copenhagen, this conference that's happening in December of this year, which aims to uh, renew or extend Kyoto. So from a scientist's point of view, what needs to be done in order to um, mitigate the conflicts we've seen between developing countries and developed countries? From what I saw at Davos, everybody was talking about Copenhagen. It was the second largest topic after the economic financial collapse. Uh, so there's a lot of concern, but I didn't see people addressing the specifics that you're talking about, and that concerned me. I am not optimistic about Copenhagen because they're not talking about the details, and that's where all the sticking points are. Okay, now I'd like to refocus on the energy policy of the new administration. And as you know, since his election, President Obama has been very enthusiastic about pushing for a green stimulus. And one of his proposals is to ensure, set up a goal of ensuring that a quarter of electricity use in American homes comes from renewable sources by 2025. So do you think this goal is realistic um, to achieve in less than 20 years? Oh yeah, I, I, I don't see much of a problem with that at all. I, I don't particularly like the word renewable. Sustainable, I think, is a much better word. Uh, and uh, I, I think uh, we can do that relatively easily. In 20 years, uh, by 20 years from now, I think solar will be much, much cheaper. I think we, by then, can have a grid so that we can deliver wind power from the Midwest out to the coasts. The recently passed uh, economic stimulus bill by the House of Representatives also includes funds for research and development. So what areas of research and development do you think uh, we need to focus on at this moment? We need energy storage mechanisms. So when the wind isn't blowing, we have energy saved. We need clean coal. I'm delighted to see that Barack Obama has said this several times. Congress is the problem here. We have to get them behind clean coal. Clean coal means that when the coal burns, the carbon dioxide that comes off is captured and placed in safe underground storage facilities. We need some additional research to certify that these are safe. We need ways of doing this efficiency, efficiently. We need more research in energy conservation and energy efficiency. Well, you mentioned Congress as a factor that might make passage of a green stimulus difficult. Another important factor to consider is the differences between states. For example, California uses coal for only 20% of its electricity generation, whereas states like Ohio use coal for more than 85%. So do you think a unified green stimulus on a national scale is possible? At times of crisis is when the country acts in the best unity, in the best spirit of problem solving. This isn't just a U.S. crisis, this is a worldwide crisis. Um, I'm, I really hope that Obama, Obama's leadership will enable us to cut across the uh, bickering of these individual states so that we can have this unified approach because we really need it and the world really needs it. Okay, Professor Muller, thank you very much for this interview. You're very welcome. And that does it for this week. Special thanks to Professor Muller for joining us. Come back next week when we'll be back in focus.